Glorious! I do love this weather, but you know, out and about wearing sort of skirt and blouse in this weather, I do get a bit hot. Yes, Mr. Burton Brown, you're wearing skirt and blouse. Yes, I am. So why have you not actually got any knickers on? I can see them right there. Well, I want to make sure that various bits are aerated and whatever. Oh, I can aerate all. Bit. Don't touch Albert. What? 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 It's Thursday. Oh, come There's on. no aerating going on here, I can tell you. What about, what's it? You get, you're taking your stockings off, you're taking your shoe off. Well, of course I am. I'm just, you know. You've got your feet, your feet Relax. Yeah. Oh. You, you've got your feet organised there. Yes. Oh, that's nice. That's a little, oh, yes, yeah. They look very nice and, nice and feety. It's good. Feet, very good feety feet. Yes, thank you. Ah. It's, you know, I've had a hard day teaching and walking around and it's been stressful so I need to sort of relax and oh, well, I, I, know, am. I know a good way of relaxing you Miss Beverly uh, that works every time no stop it oh, I had an interesting uh, experience this afternoon oh did you I was walking past a local school local uh, convent school oh yes yes it's not far from here is it yeah mm. and uh. there was a uh, I've noticed that when the little when the kids are at the bus stop, they're always oh. exceedingly well behaved, and I was wondering why that was. Because yeah. most of the time we go past bus stops outside schools, and they go they go fucking mental. Well, they do. They hurl abuse if nothing else at you, don't they? I hurl yes. hammers at them when they hurl abuse, and they stop. Oh, Albert! Yeah, well, I don't right. think I ought to know about that. Mm. Yes. Mm. But the uh, the Catholic school, the convent school, is always the kids are always very very well behaved. Oh, and I good. discovered yeah. why it was. Oh yeah. Yes. The I noticed today when I was mm. walking past that the mother superior Oh yes. Was having a little tiny chat to the kitty winks. Well good. I'm glad to hear that because usually mother superiors are quite imposing beings and mm. um she will keep them in order, and that's good. Oh, well, she did. To hear that. She was wielding a very large cane <gasps> all over them. Oh dear! Well, I don't know if you're supposed to do that these days. Oh, she didn't muck so, about. Oh, no, Mama Superior. Oh. She was not not mucking about. Oh, well, okay. Yes. Wield, wield, whack, Who am whack. I to say anything? But uh, and it works. Yes. Well, that's... exactly. If it works, then you know it keeps said urchins under control. So that's good. And there was there was yeah. this bloke in a car one of the parents has parked his car right in the bit where you shouldn't park because it's oh yes. yes so she went up right. to him uh -huh. she went up to him uh -huh. and she yells out at the top of her voice do you want to go to hell <laughs> and he said not especially <laughs> <It's> not <laughs> he said no <laughs> well, move your car then you she didn't say she, she oh oh she didn't say a naughty no, word she did didn't she? move your car oh. then she said <gasps> or I'll make sure you're top of Satan's list. Oh, she's off. probably got a Satan's list in a cupboard up, up in her office. Oh, yes, I think she has it in her pocket. Oh wow, yes. But he moved that car so fast, I could, you couldn't, you couldn't hardly see it. Moved a couple of others, yes, mm -hmm. in the process. Oh well, good, good for her. That's what I say. It was brilliant. Oh. I loved it. Yeah. She was so. Uh, she was a bit of a looker. Really? Whoa. She was brilliant. Oh, well, she, yes, I can imagine. You know that would sort of stir something inside you. The fact that she was dominant because do, do you know this is Mr. Stirred. O'Shaughnessy and you and domination. Yes, she reminded me a bit, a bit of Mrs. O'Shaughnessy, only a oh. lot more, a lot more assertive, shall we say? Oh, okay. So I went up to her and I said, "Madam," I said, "Madam mm. Superior." Uh, she said, no, no, mother, uh, mother, not madam. No, mother, that's too much Mrs. O'Shaughnessy, I think. There. Oh, you're right. Uh, uh, yes. I said uh, you were doing an excellent job. I said I myself am the governor of a very large school. Are you? You know I am. I'm the chair of finance. You know that, Mrs. Burke. Oh, I'd forgotten that. Yeah, I think I've tried to black that out. Yes, yes, that's true. You are Albert. Of course, who would doubt you? Mm. Mm. And the money is yes. being put to. The staff holiday fund. 
Wow, it should be going to the governor's all the way from, but anyway, never mind. Yes, that's true. Actually, mm. yes, yes, I think you did decide it was going to the mm. governor's holiday fund, but I tried to talk you round to at least the staff holiday fund. Mm. Yes. Yes, yes you fund. are indeed a governor. So I said, oh. I, I, therefore, I know exactly what a good school looks like. Well, actually, I said, I know exactly what a bad school looks like. Yes, fair enough. One with no money. Yes, mm. and with yeah. the kids who are hanging out the windows and going mental. Uh. Which is how my, my school is like. Yeah. And uh, she said it's very kind of you to say so. Of course, yes. I said, I see you are you're extremely effic- effective. I said, would you like to come and meet Mrs. O'Shaughnessy? <laughs> she said, I know Mrs. O'Shaughnessy. No. Well, she would, wouldn't she? Because they're both bloody Catholic. Well, of course. And they're both Irish, aren't they? Yes. yes. But I mean, well, they do tend to move in different circles, I would have thought, and down different pathways. But yeah. Pick the pathways. Maybe. Careful what you're doing with your legs. You haven't got any knickers on. Anyway. Oh, excuse me, Albert. That's a sign. Dear, you shouldn't be looking. But she did. Yes. Oh, she did. So yeah. she, uh, she did, yeah, so Mrs. Sean, she comes to church and she, uh, she speaks to uh, Father McGuigan. Oh, yes. In the, the confessional. I bet when, she does. When Father McGuigan comes out of the confessional, oh. he's ashen, Mr. Burma, ashen. I, I bet he's having trouble walking after as well, it's as well. I bet he's just beside himself. Yes. The, the, the things mm. she says in confession would make your hair curl. He didn't used to have curly hair. He's uh, curly didn't hair. Didn't he? No. Well, whenever I see him walking down the street, he's got extremely curly hair. Exactly. He was bald before he met Mrs. O'Shaughnessy. Ah! It's grown back and got curly. Oh dear, no. Oh, dear, dear. oh gosh. No, she doesn't well, I hope it. he hasn't divulged anything because, of course, the confessional box is absolutely sacrosanct. You mustn't tell anybody. No, I don't think he but told I think anything. He's, it's obviously just the look on his face and, and his, his uh, demeanour if he's shaking. And the fact that he, he doesn't drink but needs a very stiff whiskey or three. Mm. After, after well, yeah, because a lot of them do drink, don't they? They indulge in the, the beverages, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh. So there we are. That's uh, well, yes. That's uh, that's a very interesting thing I saw today. So I'm going to go along to the headmaster of my mm. school, and yeah. I'm going to say, "You need a nun with a cane. <laughs> you need a mother superior. You need a mother superior. Yes. Are you going to suggest Mrs. O'Shaughnessy perhaps takes over the headship of your school? Oh, what a good idea. Yes. Well, at least the disciplinary aspect of it. Well, absolutely, yeah. She could be sort of brought in for occasions such as, I don't know, mucking around at bus stops and hurling abuse at passing drivers and all sorts of the other hideous things that these youths tend to get up to. And um, I'm sure she would deal with them and she'd come away with a big smile on their face and they'd be a gibbering wreck. They would, Ah. possibly quite badly injured. But that's their problem. problem. Absolutely. Well, I think that's an excellent idea. Albert, oh, well done. I'm going to go and see the head and, and oh. suggest all that because she could then, I mean, the, the month superior we engage could de- mm. be moseying down the corridors all mm. day. If yeah. she sees anything going on in a classroom, she could be in there wielding. She could, yes. And, and to be honest, an awful lot of sort of youngsters hold nuns in sort of or, as it were, you know, they are sort of quite scary creatures at times. I've well, had lots of sort of scary, teachery, creaturey talk about nuns. Yeah, well, there'll be a few ah. stories to tell. So that's what we're going to do. We are, I've got, I can say, I can, I'll have to siphon off some of the money that was going to be used for the governor's trip to Iceland. I'll, I'll siphon some of that off and we'll pay a mother superior to William. I think that's probably an excellent idea. Yes, that will certainly perhaps for special measures or mm. whatever you're in at the very bottom. Wonderful. Well and, done. And of course, if we use Mrs. O'Shaughnessy, she's already got her own cane. She has. She's already to wield. You just need a wimple and various things, don't you, for her? She needs a what? So, well, wimple, what nuns wear. That's the bit sort of round the face, and then she needs the rest of the outfit. You're going to tell me that Mrs. O'Shaughnessy has got a nun's outfit, aren't you? As a matter of fact, she has, but it's made of plastic and I don't like it very much. Oh dear, and probably a bit tight. Uh, very tight. Oh no, no, Albert, I don't wish to know, no. No bosoms are going all over. Oh, Albert, no, it's Thursday, no. Yeah, please, please, please leave me on that. I, I can't cope with that, no. 
Okay. I, I will need see to go you. and have a shower. I'll see you tomorrow because it's Thursday today. Absolutely. You sure don't want me to wash your back? Not today. Okay. Oh,